Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. It's mid to late May 2023 and by far the most requested video you guys have asked for over the last week is you tell me that in real life a Russian KH-47 M2 King Jal hypersonic missile has been shot down by one of the two Patriot SAM defense systems that are in Ukraine. One's come from America and one's come from Europe, one of which has actually been damaged now apparently. But it's very controversial. No one seems to really know if this story is true. Did the Patriot really shoot down the Kinjal missile? We've seen reports, some claiming that it has and some claiming that it hasn't. It seems to be biased towards it has happened. So I'm guess I'm going to believe that it has happened. I can only believe, you know, what I see in the press. Um, have you got any thoughts about the real life version? Yeah, it's it's a little strange. I mean, uh, they are uh, they have released pictures of the actual King Charles when it was shut down. Uh, I mean, the the end result, and uh, there's there is a lot of talk about it. It, it looks very much like uh, the concrete piercing Beta 500 uh, bomb also. Mm. So so I, yeah, it's it. I'm pretty sure what actually happened. Well, uh, we're going to simulate it as best we can in our simulator DCS. The first thing you're going to say is, wait, you've done this before. You're just grabbing views, uh, and I suppose we are. But there is a real reason we're doing this as well. First of all, the first time we did this, we were using the Swedish designation of the Patriot. That's actually different from the American version. It uses a different type of Pack 3. Also, it was a very early version, and that was before CH went over them again, adding an extra layer of realism so we're using the proper american one this time that was supplied and we've got that extra fine layer of realism added in the failure rates and stuff like that so it does need doing again so the setup is going to be very simple we have a russian jet a tu 22 m 3m carrying four king jars about 40 to 50 miles away it's going to fire them at a target a generic target and there's no humans involved today it's all just objects and things and no one's going to get hurt first we'll fire against an undefended target as a scientific control then we'll add patriot pack two then we'll add patriot pack three and see what happens. We've not tried this yet, and we don't really know what's going to happen. But can you make some kind of prediction, uh, CH, while I get the first thing set up? Yeah, as we have tested before, I mean, these uh, very fast missiles are actually hard to, to intercept. You really need to uh, get the trajectory correctly, and, and the timing is, is everything. I mean, your interceptor missile doesn't need to be as fast as the incoming one, but it needs to be in the re right spot at the right time, and that's always an issue. Roger. And actually, the CH brought up a really important point here. When CH and models these things, it's, well, it's it's kind of impossible to do it perfectly because no one actually knows the terminal impact velocity of one of these missiles. We know it's somewhere between Mark 2.5 and Mark 6, and that's going to depend on all sorts of things, including how high it was fired from and how far it was fired from and stuff like that. So, we have to make a decision how we're going to model it. This time, we've modeled it pretty much at its maximum spec. So it's going to hit the ground just below Mark 6. So worst case scenario for the Americans, best case scenario for Russians. Why? Well, we want to, you know, that's what we want to do. We don't want to make it easy for ourselves in this test. We want to give Patriot a challenge. So off we go. Go King Charles. King Charles means a dagger, doesn't it? I think it means dagger. Yeah, that's correct. See the little booster bits on the end, they fall off after a few seconds of yours. Probably won't be able to show you it. I'll take my word for it, off they go. Four King Charles out from 45 nautical miles away. So look how quickly this thing covers 45 miles, viewers. And this is one of the worrying things about it. Because how quickly. Now in real life, it would actually come down. Sorry to keep pausing it, but it will come down. Maybe not straight down, but a much steeper. But we have certain restrictions, obviously, that we have my model leading these things. DCS isn't really made for... Uh, yeah, uh, and they seem to be stuff. able to, uh, like the scanner, to have, uh, I think the idea at least, is to have different uh, path and trajectories for it. Right. So they can set it up. And I think a lot of controversy and discussions are whether it is able to, to maneuver uh, at these high speeds or not. And that's, uh, yeah, I was... uh, what makes it even uh, deadlier uh, if they actually can do that. But they, it's a lot, lot of discussion about it. Yeah, I know. I, I was thinking that in bed last night about how, how hard it must be. These things are on the edge, aerodynamically on the edge already, if they do what they say they can do. But also, putting in a kind of wiggling manoeuvre, 
You can imagine how hard aerodynamically that is. That said, CH, all it has to do is manoeuvre the smallest, smallest fraction of a radian. And that means it will cause huge, huge problems for the defence system. So it's not like it has to do a big visible S, like we probably imagine. It just has to move the tiniest fraction yeah. of a degree. And that will really upset the SAM, isn't it? Wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Mm. But what's interesting is that um, when you're talking about these kind of, of maneuvering, uh, a lot of these kind of missiles are, are intended to actually have waypoints. I, I mean, really oh, maneuvering. Right. <laughs> right. So going, so going, so instead of going straight, to, ours can only go straight to target. But the real ones, then, in that case, could go over here and then over here and then over here. And yeah. then over there, which, of course, would cause problems. Yeah, and you could find the weak spot. Or you could send four of them out, and this is probably what would happen in real life, mm. four of them out, and they will come in from different angles. Yeah. Same with that. And, 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 and they will uh, sneak around in the uh, SAM uh, areas mm -hmm. uh, where you have your defences. Anyway, it's all theory at the moment. Any, anyway, viewers, no one yeah. obviously really knows. Right, let's start adding in a Patriot. Um, so this is a pack two only. So we've got four pack two launchers. Don't worry that they're all in a weird position, viewers. They will not interfere with each other, their radars or anything. It's all fully tested and checked. Uh, it's the pack. Oh, what's it called? Pack two Gem T. The age? Yeah, 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 exactly. That's the latest version. But we actually don't know what they were using because uh, neither the Americans or right. Ukrainians will, will have actually stolen one. I think they have a lot of uh, German, a lot of, but uh, I think some of the missiles and uh, actual launchers are German and they have a lot of the older, both Pac 2 and Pac 3 missiles. Roger, yeah. I mean, there's no reason for them to to tell obviously and we've got just out of interest we've got the power plant viewers we've got the, the command i guess you could no, it's not command yeah. is it what's ECS? yes it is command yes yeah. yeah no this is interesting this is new ch i i didn't know you'd made this so we've got the old radars let me just show so we've got the original radar if you call it that we've got the yeah. aesa radar the 360 degree one and we've also got this which i just found for the first time l Tamed. Can you explain that? Because I don't know what it is. Yeah, exactly. That's the newest one, which um, was awarded to be uh, update all the the old radars. Uh, this is an actually 360 uh, version of radar. It's quite big, as you can see. Mm. Uh, it has a much longer range, and it, it can detect uh, and target stuff all, all around. So th this is the one that uh, the Americans will replace all the oh. 65. Does it turn? Does it spin? No, no, they no. have uh, the large ones at the back. It will uh, yeah. just, yeah. Got it. You can, yeah. you can position it uh, where you have uh, want uh, the, the larger one, but uh, you can pretty much guarantee that's not the radar they're using in Ukraine. <laughs> no, but, oh, okay. I keep, you know what? I'll put, I'll, put the, uh, I'll put the older one in just to make just to make it a scientific. And, yeah, and then they're not using that one either, but okay. Oh, uh, fine, we'll go to the old, old, old one. It will all work, viewers, don't worry. <laughs> Um, right, okay, and like I said, don't worry about line of sight uh, in terms of units in the way. It will not make a difference. I put them there so that you can see them launching, otherwise you're just not going to see them. CH, um, let's do a thing. See what happens. See how well yeah. our, well, your modelling is. Stand by. Pang! <laughs> okay, it's always really impressive to watch. I can see they're slightly, it's not quite perfectly turned the right. Oh, they, they'll turn. No, they're turning. Look, they've seen yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. They've seen it. Okay, they've seen it. Oh, wow. Stop. Uh, yeah, we can pause, so we will, viewers. Uh, Kinjol, 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 Kinjol. Pack 2. So this is an old Pack 2 missile. A non-thrust vectoring question mark? I've forgotten. I actually don't remember okay. where that I went, one. I went, yeah. ask, I, uh, I went ask that in case. But it is an old missile. It's an old, more kind of traditional missile yeah. uh, compared to the yeah. Pack 3. All right, we're just going to fire it and see what happens. Let's go. <laughs> This is rather tense, viewers. <laughs> oh my god, it's pause. I've got to stop there. I've got to get a better shot. Okay, viewers, here we go. Iskia's yeah, going to hit. Look, it's moving towards it. Three, two, one. I don't know where the target building is. Where's the target building? There it is. Three, two, one. Oh, we got one. <laughs> Missed two. Oh, jeez, the speed comes in. Missed three. No. Oh, I don't know what happened. We'll go back and attack view and watch that, viewers. Wow, that was exciting. Yeah, yeah. I heard three That's explosions. Said, it's, yeah, it's trying to get at this, the right point at the right time where your missile actually slower than the incoming uh, yeah, target. That's, that's, yeah, that's hard. crazy. Also, look, something happened, like an old scud. A uh, 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 building over here got hit by accident. My viewers, what I'm going to do, because no one really knew what happened there, is I'm going to quit, punch that up in the attack view, 
So here it comes in. You can see its speed just written behind its altitude. It should get just below Mark 6 before it impacts. Here come the Pack 2s. And you can see their speed. They only just accelerated above Mark 2 at this point. They'll go to Mark 4, I think, but only just yeah. above Mark 2 at this point. And we've got a... He wasn't even going for that one. That one's hit. Yeah. Two hits one. Two misses two. And die and self-detonates. Three misses one. One through. Two's through. Three's through. That's not an acceptable PK. That's a 25% PK for pack two. Modeled as best we can with the best information we've got. It's So it's sort of kind of just about works, but also doesn't work. A little information. It's a TVM. Uh, so it's uh, same active radar guidance on it. Uh, as opposed to the the pack three, which have active radar homing, and it can fine tune when it gets close to the missile by itself. Roger. Um, yes, and we will go and show that literally off right now. So this is MSC with the twelve missiles. So these missiles, as it said, are made for this pretty much. Right, speed up. Missiles away. Oh, you can see them coming already. Look at that. You wouldn't <laughs> yes. see that in real. Oh, you might actually. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. Just, a, a, just an interesting talking point. Lots of t people talk about hypersonic flux or something. They like, like burn the air in front of them and that causes radio yeah, waves. Also, I wonder whether you see them because when, when a meteorite, meteor slash meteorite comes through the sky in movies, it's got this huge trail behind it, hasn't it? Because it's moving hypersonic. Yeah. You don't know, obviously, but do you reckon a hypersonic missile would do that as well if it's smashing the air up that much? It's a good question. I, I think... I think something would show. I say my glow as well, like a big glowing ball in the sky because of all the heat it's making. <laughs> right, anyway, yeah. viewers. Yeah, I don't know. I don't all know. the dinosaurs. Yeah, uh, maybe we're getting a bit Hollywood here. Here's pack three viewers. I'm sure you know more about it than me. You usually do. One thing you've told me is that these are not sensors. These are thrusters. Did you, are you aware yeah. of that? Oh, right. Yeah. So each one of these is, a, I believe, a one-time use thruster viewers, which is amazing. And I guess one of the reasons why it's so expensive that allows it a bit like a space shuttle to nudge left and nudge right because the fins aren't actually a very good way of steering a missile or you can't, you know, especially if it's up high because fins don't work when you're up high. Oh, not really. And so you need your space shuttle thrusters, which I think is uh, amazing tech uh, to do that. Yeah. Right. I'm going to ask for a percent prediction. You don't know. Obviously, we haven't tried this and I don't know, but ha give, us, give us a percent. Yeah, yeah. I think three out of four, maybe. Three out of four. Seventy-five percent. I'm going for fifth. No, I'm going for 100 percent viewers. Three, <laughs> two, one. How many will it fire views? It's up to it's up to each. The full game decides the threat level. Probably one for each missile. Yeah, How many would they fire in real life? I don't know. Daring. One. Yeah. Two. <laughs> oh no, it doubled up on one. They doubled up on one. No. Three got through. Four intercepted. <laughs> You're right. It's 75 freaking percent. See, age, man of the moment. Yeah. He knows his stuff. Wow. Yeah, they are, they are a little conservative there. I would probably, if I was standing there, I would probably hit the, the, the launch button a couple of more yeah, times. Yeah, right. Sure. <laughs> yeah, in terms of how many they fire viewers, that's up to a kind of cool game. It has a little brain in there that, that says, how threatened am I by these hypersonic missiles? And a cool game doesn't understand hypersonic missiles. It doesn't have any in core cool game. So it just treats it as a missile. There's a missile coming at me. I can probably intercept it. In real life, probably. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows this? No one knows this. Like CH said, they might say, there's a hypersonic missile. Fire the big green button that fires all of these. I mean, but, but, you know, yeah, with, with the older missiles, I, I imagine they had a little different doctrine and they had to fire a lot more on it since the PK was much lower. But as the missile gets better and better, you have to, yeah, balance that. How many do you, they are more expensive? Right. How many do you really want to send at one time? Well, she have to ask I, I can imagine at high value targets, you also would have uh, maybe two batteries that would uh, depend on, on the one uh, radar and everything. Uh, so that would work independently. Roger, or she have to ask the question, would it help? I mean, it depends on why the miss is happening. If the miss is happening because, I don't know, something that's not to do specifically with the missile, then sending a 20 out wouldn't help. I don't know. I don't know. It's a very complex thing. And obviously, real world militaries are struggling with exactly this problem at the moment. Well, there you go, viewers. Uh, pack 2, 25%. Uh, I wouldn't even bother firing one. Pack 3, 75%. Great. But as we've modeled, there's going to be leakage, as we call it. Some are going to get through. Yeah. As probably would happen in real life right yeah and exactly that's what we're seeing in ukraine right now i mean it's pretty impressive when they take down i mean 15 16 17 out of 20 missiles mm -hmm. uh, during the night that's pretty impressive i have not much to say really viewers there's your science as best we can do it anything from ch no nope. okay bye